US B-52 bombers in Romania may help Ukraine, it can strike targets in Russia. Military expert, in a historic first for NATO, air operations and the probable air challenge to the Kremlin, a pair of US Air Force B-52 heavy bombers landed on Sunday at the Mihail Kigalnichanu air base in eastern Romania. The route of flight taken by the American long-range strike aircraft paralleled almost the entire eastern frontier of NATO territory from the Barents Sea north of Finland to the Black Sea. Although remaining in international airspace, the U.S. heavies made a provocative close pass of the Kola Peninsula and a giant airbase used by Russia for bomber strikes against Ukraine. It was the first time B-52H heavy bombers had ever landed in Romania, a U.S. Air Force statement said. The last time the Stratofortress bombers had been present in airspace proximate to the Black Sea was in August 2023. Valery Ryabik, Ukrainian military expert, development director of Defense Express Media and Consulting Company, believes that the arrival of the U.S. B-52 strategic bombers in Romania signals Washington's readiness to handle security issues in the region. He shared this opinion on Espresso TV. Stationing U.S. B-52 bombers in Romania is a historic move. It is especially important for Romania, which is becoming a crucial part of NATO's eastern defences and ensuring security in the region's airspace, Ryabik said. The expert noted that B-52 bombers can strike targets in Russia from thousands of kilometres away. The presence of B-52 bombers in Romania shows the U.S. is ready to take on strategic tasks in the region. These bombers, which can also carry nuclear weapons, represent a significant development, especially given the ongoing Russian-Ukrainian war. Their deployment might suggest to Russia that the U.S. still has strong capabilities. The range of these bombers is enough to threaten targets in Russia from several thousand kilometers away, he added. The B-52H is a Cold War era aircraft originally designed to drop bombs on strategic targets. The Pentagon has continually upgraded the aircraft. In a conflict against a near-peer opponent like Russia, U.S. Air Force planners would probably use B-52s as a mobile platform to launch precision-guided cruise missiles from outside the range of shore-based air defences. Following the Russian ships, the families of Russian servicemen are also leaving Crimea. The families of occupying Russian officials stationed in annexed Crimea are relocating from the Black Sea Peninsula amid intensifying attacks by Ukraine's forces, according to Kyiv intelligence. The Newsweek media outlet reported this. Andriy Yusov, spokesperson for Ukraine's main intelligence directorate, was quoted by the local telegram channel Crimean Wind as saying that while Crimea remains a crucial hub, For Russian military logistics in the ongoing war, occupying forces have already relocated part of the Black Sea Fleet to Novorossiysk in Russia's Krasnodar Krai. Newsweek says that Russia has relocated many of its warships from annexed Crimea to Novorossiysk due to relentless Ukrainian attacks. Satellite images from last October showed that Russia's fleet was fleeing from Sevastopol in Crimea to Novorossiysk. Ships were also heading to the Russian naval port in Feodosia, further east on the annexed Crimean Peninsula. More recent satellite images from April, shared by open-source intelligence OSINT researcher M.T. Anderson, appear to show that the Black Sea Fleet has largely abandoned its major Crimean naval bases. Some of the families of Russian occupation officials and collaborators also left Crimea. They are not waiting for any holiday season, but are trying to save their lives, Yusuf said. Newsweek has contacted Russia's Defense Ministry for comment by email. Ukraine has ramped up its attacks on Crimea as part of a push to reclaim the Black Sea Peninsula, which was annexed by Russian President Vladimir Putin in 2014. Dmitry Pletenchuk, formerly Ukrainian Navy spokesperson and now spokesperson for Ukraine's South Defense Forces, said in March that Kyiv's ultimate goal is complete absence of military ships of the so-called Russian Federation in the Azov and Black Sea regions.